I'm Christine, and this past weekend I got to interview the cast of the Shadowhunters TV show! <gasps> I'm a huge fan of the Shadowhunter book series. The Mortal Instruments is being turned into a TV show on ABC Family, soon to be Freeform, rebranding without the word family. Maybe we can go a little darker on that channel now. And the cast of the Shadowhunters TV show, which is premiering January 12th, was at New York City Comic Con. And they did a mini press junket, and I got to be there. <laughs> Having experienced multiple different interview styles, I've come to the conclusion that the red carpet and the press lineups, they always deliver the most awkward of the interviews. Because you're not sitting down, you're not chilling. And it's kind of like interview roulette. You never know who they're gonna throw in front of you and how much time you're gonna get with them. So this was a press lineup style interview. I'm semi prepared for like any of the actors to drop in front of me. But I'm not fully prepared. You can't be fully prepared. <laughs> And as you're waiting, sometimes the cast kind of just casually walks by and you think, oh, they're coming, they're coming, oh no. Coaster. The first person that was put in front of me was Isaiah Mustafa, the guy playing Luke, and Ed Dector, the writer. Natasha was helping me with the camera. She wasn't ready. I wasn't exactly ready. The werewolf. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a detective. I'm a New York City detective. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that was like a practice round. The next people were dropped in front of us. We were ready. Oh, oh, that was that was so you're playing Alec. I'm very excited. Yeah. Matthew Daru is tall. I wish we were sitting down because his height just intimidated me. When you got the part, no, do you like more of sympathy or reaction? Yeah, I was actually uh, I was at the door to my hotel was the next day after the test, and I'm at the door and I get the phone call, and they say you got the part. I sort of sort of was I was shaking a little bit. I was like, okay. Are you sure? People who love you sure? Did they say that for sure? And then I go in and they tell me all the stuff I had to do, so I had to rush and give them my Twitter handle, make a video, so it was, it was very hectic. Yeah, to share with the fans. That yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. That was nice though to have that. Yes, that was yeah, great. No, it was really cool. Should have asked him about his age, just for funsies. So, you do all this training and stuff. There was yeah. like a moment that you feel like was the hardest thing. I know you're learning all the archery stuff. I think the, 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 the fitness has like, was, no, I mean, it was a like, tremendous amount of going to the gym, love. endless hours, and uh... So I'm talking to Matthew Dario, and then Cassie sees me and comes over! You know, running and working out, and yeah. then you know the actual the actual fighting came kind of naturally to a lot of us, and we worked really well together. Dom and I have a lot of stuff together, and it was really uh, uh, yeah, it really was, wasn't it? <laughs> it was really great to work together. Oh my God! Big G ruined everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm interrupting your time with handsome men. Oh, yeah. Cassie, get in front here. So what are you guys talking about? Um, we're talking about the show. I'm Christina, I'm a YouTuber. She is like one of the most famous YouTubers in the What's world. What's up, Christina? How are you? What's happening? Um, hi. She is an amazing book reviewer. So oh, thank you. Thank oh, I think I've seen you on YouTube. She has many exciting scrolling. theories about that. many. Yes, definitely. I mean, like, um, okay, you're all over here. I wanted to ask you guys what... You mean when you say there's other characters from Cassie's books gonna show up in the in the show? Let's kick Can that to Ed Decker. Yeah, that's an Ed Decker. Yeah. yeah. She does everything. I mean, well, I mean, okay. They, they, they gave me a list of like things I'm allowed to say. I will say that Melior is way more important oh, in this show than yeah. you would ever normally yeah. guess. Interesting. Very cool. Yeah. Okay, that's exciting. It's fairly good. Yeah. And um, Jade, who plays Melior, is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I was told this was on my list of things I was allowed to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, do you guys have a favorite episode? Like, I know you can't say anything about it, but can you tell us like what number that you guys like your favorite? Have you seen? The I'm the one with the benefit seen of having it. seen him. So I'm going to say eleven. Okay. Um, yeah. So right towards the end there. Get your tick box when you're doing <laughs> tick, tick. We're 11, we're 11. 11, to 11. Well, listen, here's the thing, interesting thing. We're here at this, and as, as we speak, we are literally still working on the first episode. Yeah, the first These guys don't even know that. Like, oh yeah, we've slapped it together, and we get the idea, but 
the sound, the ADR, the visual effects, it's so exciting that it's still fluid and coming together, let alone two, three, four, five, six. You gotta yeah. shoot them, and then you gotta then finish go them, and there's every bit as much artistry that goes into the finishing of the material as goes into any other element of making it. So it's really, really exciting to be here, show that little teaser. Yeah, hell yeah. People yeah. seem to like it. Yeah, that felt yeah good. great response. It's just so cool to and, see and, it. And obviously it's cool for us to see it. You know, the first six, we never yeah, seen we it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was all like being projected backstage. Yeah. So yeah, we saw it backwards. We saw, we saw a mirrored image. It'd be a little different. I know. I was like, what is this? So the day before this was Cassie's panel, and while I was waiting for that panel to start, it just dawned on me. Wait, do you think the Valley Wonder TV show is gonna have a theme song? Yeah, it's gonna. I'm really excited to see what it's gonna be, and then we can sing a Shadow Hunter. Theme song. That's the Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter. Jesse's singing right now. Jason's Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunters might have a theme song. They might have a theme song, and how will it go? They're just gonna take that clip that you just did and they're just gonna play it. Like that's gonna be the intro. Remix it, yeah. Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter. Shadow. 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 Something like that is what I'm imagining. So when it came time to ask a question that was different to the cast members, I just, just dropped it. Um, I wanted to ask this kind of weird question, but I was just thought it would be fun. Like, yes. That Shadowhunter oh. theme song. How would it go? Do you like? Do you have any? I was just like trying. Oh my god! Early on in the in the series, in episode one. Did you write one? I was, <laughs> he tried to write one. I wasn't writing it. I was just oh, yeah. in between takes. You know, you start to sing a little bit or something. I had something together there, but. And I think there'd be a little bit of flume, a little bit of disclosure, a little bit of yeah. lord. It's all a in little, You know, I mean, I don't know. We seem to be down the river of that sound. With, you know. Like a little recorded sequence. I think like a hand with like magic and then. So just like the magic. So it's just magic. Just magic. Show, just magic. Just magic. Show magic. how you conjure magic even in the absence magic. of magic. Just Show me your magic. little hand whip magic. magic. Yeah, there you go. Look at that go. You can do it all. I'm so sorry, that's all the time we've got. <laughs> okay. Sorry for crashing the party. Sorry for crashing your party. I'm so happy. I'm really pulling for this Shadow Hunter theme song. Eventually, Simon got dropped in front of me. He's read all the books, which is amazing. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Good. I'm Christine. Hey, nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Yep. They're playing Simon. Yes. So, how was it about the part? Like, reaction? To be honest with you, I, I started crying. That's wonderful. You know, I, I read the books. Yeah. So when, when I got the role, I was about halfway through book three. Oh, which nice. Which you guys know is like the beginning yeah, of a lot the of stuff. Yeah. So yeah. to be invited into this world and to get to take part in everything that I already knew was going to happen and you know was waiting, you know, it was yeah. just yeah. It was a dream come true, and this has become. That's amazing. Hello. Hey. That's it. I'm Christine. I'm a YouTuber who talks about books, so this is like the hardcore shadow hunter people. Um. So. <laughs> Yes, and, and then I was starting to get really confused. I was starting to get really confused with what was happening in the books and what was happening in the TV show. So I yeah. decided I was going to stop reading it because it, it was it was it was it was too much. Yeah. But you know, we're, we're staying really true to our characters. But the TV series gets to go to places the book never went to, and it's going to be really fun to keep you know the fans on their feet and and you know to expect things that they've never seen before. What was your favorite book? Oh, I don't know. I. I for a while, it was City of Glass because yeah, I love I loved when you like, see the downworld and the Shadow Hunters unite and that it proved to be effective yeah, and it proved to be the right decision. The binding rune. The binding rune. It's so it's, epic. But then I read um, City of Heavenly Fire is just so filled with so many twists and turns <laughs> and sizzy and place and mallet sizzy. and all, I'm so everything. For sissy everything with you comes guys. into a whirlwind in City of Heavenly Fire. So I think that's. Yeah. It's easy to say that's the favorite yeah. book. I mean, because Cassie looks so good at ending a series. I don't know, her <laughs> and her cliffhangers series, at the end of too. chapters she's yeah. so good at. And yeah. Of course, I had to ask Emrata about her whip. How was working with the whip? Do you actually, like... Yes, I actually do all my stunts with the whip, and it's very dangerous. I can actually, like, hurt someone on set, and it's really funny because when I go do my whip, um, most men... Most men I run, run away. away. Yeah, yeah. You know, she knows what she's yeah. doing, and it's amazing to watch her just, like, whip things. That's but awesome. And seven inch heels. In seven inch heels. <laughs> Is that gonna something gonna happen early on? Like, 
Yeah. I can just tell you, um, <laughs> Simon gets a taste of the download. Okay, early. Um, early. Not really, but he, gets, he gets a taste of the he gets a real, he gets thrown into the shadow world. I'm so excited to watch the show. You guys are great on the panel. <laughs> thank, you, thank you very much. Thank you for talking. Bye, guys. Thank you. And in the last two minutes, as the whole room was clearing out, I got to talk to Kat and Dom. Hello. I know you. Hi. I met you before. Hi. Yes, I'm doing Vampire Academy. Yes. yes. Hi, I'm Christine. Hi. I'm a YouTuber who talks about books online. So it's like all the hardcore fans have been here. And hey. <laughs> I wanted to ask you guys, it's, it's dumb, but there's this uproar about both of your hair when you hear that cast. How was it dealing with that pressure? I mean, like, you have the red hair and, like, you still have kind of blonde. Yeah, I mean, oh, they they dye my blonde every like two weeks. They to dye me, my red every two weeks. Yeah, to me, like I, I understand why people potentially get upset or or even happy about the portrayal of someone in books. Like yeah, you, yeah, you have your image and you have the way you imagine this yeah. person. However, I think there's so much more to to these characters as there is to every human being yeah. than what's on the surface. Like the way we look um, is is next to nothing. Uh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Like your behaviour. And your I mean, creation. I think it, I think you guys look the part now. I thank mean, you. Well, thank definitely. you. Thank you so much. Is the hair like a Jace thing, or are you just growing out for fun? No, it's a Jace like, thing. Yeah, no, like, yeah it's, it's like really, thing. it's like really long. It's coming really out. long. Yeah, no, it's a Jace <laughs> thing. It's not a dumb thing. Cool, cool. Do you, did you guys read the books? I read the first one. Okay. I'm in the middle of the book. Okay. Do you have favorite books so far? Book three. Awesome. Book three. Awesome. That is the best one. Alberto's really. read them all, and he tells yeah. me book six is pretty book epic. Book six is fantastic. Too. So I'm getting there. <laughs> Shadow Hunters. If there was a theme song, I know this is a weird question, but how would it go? Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, to Dario. <laughs> Dario. He Wait. made up a theme song. Yo, you're a singer. You've sent me music. You've done. Go. Do Quick. Go. <laughs> no, I'm never. I don't know what you're yes, about. You go. are. Three, two, one, I, go. I no. Three, two, all one, right. go. Like Shadow Hunters. You gotta, you gotta do it with me. Oh, Ready? Man. Ready? Three, two, one. Ready? Watch the show and that would be a big song. Kat was this close to doing it. I should have sung with her, honestly. I should have given an example when I asked that question. <laughs> oh, I believed in you. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Okay. Did you make anyone else do this? I did. Did they I, do it? They did a little bit. Uh, Harry did a little bit. Oh, Harry, of course, of course yeah. Harry did. Yeah. Yeah. When you get Matt Daddario to do it, next time we see you, if Matt Daddario okay. does it, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, we'll guys. Thank you. It was lovely to see you again. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. If they get a theme song, and if I get to talk to them again, we shall sing the theme song together. That was my Shadow Hunters TV press lineup interviewing experience. Really excited for the show. We got so much Shadow Hunter news at Comic Con. Lady Midnight cover dropped. You guys wanna see it? Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! I like the new covers and the old covers, but I like it. It's pretty. It just doesn't match what I have. It means I'm probably gonna have to get the new covers. The spines are gorgeous, though. I like the spines of the new covers. Now, we've all seen the six minute clip by now, I think, from the pilot. Have you seen it? It's online. It's available. It premiered at Comic Con. We got to watch it at the Shadowhunters panel. Six minutes for the pilot. We're gonna see six minutes for the pilot. Now, I don't think our opinions on this clip can extend to the show. It's definitely still in post. It definitely had an element of cheese to it. Shows like The Vampire Diaries have cheesiest pilots alive. It takes a little bit for that show to find its groove. So you gotta give it five episodes to get grooving, for the actors to really fall into their characters, for the special effects to really evolve. The special effects we see in this clip, not the best, but as MCG said, they're just placeholders. They're still working on everything. They're still perfecting it and making things look better. That being said, in that clip, I think Simon and Magnus really shine. Everything he said made me chuckle. And then Magnus, oh damn, he owns Pandemonium in the show. I don't even know, I'm excited. You can tell how excited Harry is about it and I love that. I'm so happy and grateful that I got to do this. I hope you enjoyed those interviews. I'm Christine, all my social media links, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, blurdy blurdy blurb, are in the description. I make videos every Tuesday. I'll see you next time. Bye! And there's another 15 minute anxious gap during which twice Emrade, who plays Izzy, went to come over to our little station, but she got pulled away! <laughs> Really nice.
Cassie, I want to ask you, when you were writing the books, why was it important for you to have an LGBT relationship with one of the core relationships on the show? Magnus and Alec were based on people I knew. And one of them 